thing. After all of that COVID disruption and all of the hard work, the exams are finally now underway. Yeah, that's right, Colette. The state examination starting this morning. It has been a very difficult number of years for these students, a very disrupted schooling for them over the past number of years due to COVID. But this year is the first year since the pandemic hit that we're returning to the traditional written Leaving Cert exams and the junior certificate exams are also taking place. Now, due to that disruption, there has been changes in the Leaving Cert. Students this year getting more choice, more time in their papers, and there was also modifications as regards the amount of material material that was on the curriculum in certain subjects. 131,000 students right across the country sitting the junior and leaving cert exams. Here in St. Joseph's College in Lucan, the students at English Paper won this morning in the leaving cert and the junior certificate students doing English as well. The English teacher here for the leaving cert students, Carly Jones, saying to us that it was a very fair paper. Well, it was a very fair paper this year. Um, the theme of the paper was powerful voices and I think that was fantastic. It gave the students a chance to really open up and be themselves. Um, the texts in the composition section were also very varied and um, it really just opened it up to everyone of all levels to give their best shot. Now, the fact that we have no date for the results of the Leaving Cert is still an issue for the students. That's a decision made by the State Examinations Commission. There will be resets of the Leaving Cert in July for any student that's affected by COVID in June. Minister Norma Foley saying that she hopes that a date will be announced as soon as possible. But they have said that they will make the announcement as regards the date as quickly as they can. They will have a clearer vision or view of how many students are taking uh, the exams and how many may need to take the second sitting of exams. So we will have, um, they have said, a, a clearer timeline uh, in the not too distant future. And I look forward to the State Examinations Commission, you know, um, announcing that timeline. Now, there's a record number of candidates sitting the exams this year. The State Examinations Commission is also appealing for teachers to come forward to help mark the papers. They say this is vital work and there is a shortage of teachers available to mark the papers. But finally, I suppose, for the students, they have kicked off their exams today. This afternoon, the Leaving Certificates will sit Home Economics and the Junior Certificate students will sit Religious Education. Ashling, thank you very much for all of that.